Hello friends and welcome to Better Developer. This channel is dedicated to your lives and career as developers and software engineers. And I believe each of you has the potential to create life-changing software similar to Guido van Rossum, creator of Python. Today we are going to talk about commenting and reviewing code. When working with many junior developers, I have seen that there are they are generally afraid of reviewing and commenting on code that has been written by senior developers or other members of the team. There can be multiple reasons out of it. I have heard developers say that Joydeep, I'm not assigned PRs and hence I'm not looking into them. This is one of the symptoms of a more deeper problem. First of all, stop all this habit of only doing things that you're told to both for the sake of the company and your own sake. You're al you already realize that, right? Experienced developers think that you're still college kids and you don't know anything. You cannot handle responsibilities that want them to think. So they will only give you things that are the lowest common denominator in terms of both complexity and impact. We working on tasks that are only the lowest will only reinforce this current mentality among your teammates. Remember, if you don't do complex work, then you're not going to grow. And if you're not doing work that has an impact, then you're not going to change the butcha mentality among your fellow developers. Don't go around and start blaming your company saying that there are no opportunities in this company. You are the one who has created the environment that no one trusts you with important work. Number two, you're afraid that you will do some mistake and will cost your company billions of dollars in revenue. Do not be afraid to make mistakes. Do not be limited to only things and processes that you know. Think of it this way. If you don't make mistakes, you're not going to learn. Of course, it is always better to learn from others mistakes. But let's be real. Even identifying that others are making mistakes requires a level of skill and you don't have it right now. Hence, start making mistakes. Another way to think about this is that I believe every company has a quota of mistakes that they need to make to become a great company. It is better that you fill that quota up as soon as possible. Don't you want to work in a great company? Better than joining a Google or a Facebook, isn't it better that you are instrumental in creating a company that becomes great during the time that you are there? Wouldn't that be a career and life course? Now if you are thinking that, easy for you to say, at my company they will ostracize me, maybe even fire me if anything happens. If that's the case, my friend, then this company does not deserve you. Third point is, if you are afraid, that is the senior developers who have made the PR, they know everything about the project. I am sure that the code that they have written is correct. This is the correct way to write code. It is not my place to question the gods of the project. If you think that way, you are doing yourself and your teammates a huge disservice. Remember, no one is perfect. No one will write brilliant code all the time. Also, who said coding is always a code can only be the best or nothing? Coding is always a game of making the best choice under the circumstances. And circumstances are moving. Even if they have written the best code under the current circumstances, you owe it to yourself to understand why this function is written the way it is written. Question everything. If you think people will be irritated, they won't. I'll tell you they won't. Everyone loves explaining their work to someone interested. Hence, be interested. Lastly, if you are a senior developer watching this video and you are thinking that junior developers in your team are not commenting or reviewing a code, do not assume that they are lazy. Talk to them and find out the real reason. Are they afraid, intimidated or they simply do not understand the feature request and the corresponding pull requests. Maybe the fault is with you and your processes. I will guarantee that if you succeed in making them more confident, it will take a lot of load off your shoulders. Thanks everyone for watching this video.